Okay, now you've learned really all of the basics uh, of a SQL statement, including joins, functions. There's a few uh, more details, or actually there's quite a few more details. We barely scratched the surface. But now uh, we're not going to really teach any more uh, structure to SQL, but we're going to show you more techniques that will be useful in common. So the between operators are very useful, and we can use this for selecting values that are both greater than and less than a number at the same time using between. Um, it's just one of several ways to do things. So let's grab, let's go ahead and do this one. Get all employees hired between these dates. Now you can use between for dates as well as numbers, but in this example we'd use it for dates here. So let's start with what we want to show. It just says shows each of the employees hired, so it's up to us. Cool. Let's do first name, last name, and we'll do hire date just so we can validate this. So no joins needed on this one. We're simply going to say where hire date between, and here's where we use, uh, remember our date format, 1997-month 01-01. And it says inclusive. So let's see what happens, it, whether this, whether between includes that particular date or not. Between that and the other one was 12.31.02. Okay, 2002. 2002-12-31. All right. Any order by? Nope. All right, cool. So let's see what this does for us. Okay. To make life easier for a moment, let's go ahead and order by higher dates so we can see the beginning and ending dates. All right, so 1997. This is uh, after this one, and it is uh, before this one. So that's everything between. The question is whether or not using between will include this actual date. So to test that, let's change it to this date right here for Emily Wood. So let's use... 0312 and see if that includes it. Yep, it sure does. So the between and and operator is inclusive of the numbers that you include here. So cool, let's go back to the requirements for this problem. And uh, that's it, we're good. So that's the between operator and just keep in mind you can use this for both dates and for numbers.